Hello, amazing family of high school life. What's up, lovely people of Ghana? You are welcome to yet another episode of High School Updates right here on High School Live. So today, we are going to be exploring one of the biggest, interesting, and amazing senior high schools in the country at the moment, Mawili School. Top it off with some intriguing history about the school and some fun facts you didn't know about it. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe like and comment what school you think we should explore next do stick and stay The Mawili School is the second Saikoko Educational Boarding Senior High School located in Ho in the Ho Municipal District in the Volta region of Ghana. This is one of the best performing senior high schools in the Volta region. It is a grade A school. The school was founded in 1950 by the Evangelical Presbyterian Church. It was the first senior high school to be established in the Trans Volta Togoland. The name Mawuli, which is a popular Ewe name in Volta region, means God Day. The name Mawuli and the motto, head, hat, hand, was given by students. Some famous alumna of the Mawuli school include Ifo Kwejo Mawube, Leila Jansi, Smao Jisi, and Jerry Kuma. Now, as I promised in the beginning of this video, here is an intriguing story about Mawili School. In February 1949, an airmail letter came from Reverend Beta, a missionary who was in Africa, to Professor Trust, a pastor and a professor. The letter stated that the Evangelical Presbyterian Church had been planning for many years to establish a secondary school in Ho. It was to be the first school of that level to open in what was then the trust territory of British Togoland. Now, they had the land for the school and a grant from the British government to build the school. They wanted an ordained minister to head the school and they wanted the school to have a strong program of science studies. The main aim of the letter was to ask Professor Trust to come to Africa to head the school. Professor Trust wrote back that it was a great challenge and that he would give it serious consideration. Back came a letter from Reverend Beta saying, The committee is so glad to hear that you will come. Your house will be ready in June. It looked like Professor Trust didn't have any other option but to move to Ghana. When Professor Trust arrived, there was no school building. Even the land for the building wasn't settled since there was a dispute over the land. Professor Trust didn't even have a place to stay with his family. He was, therefore, given a place at the old Bremen Mission House, which had been built in 1865 at Poji, where he started to get ready to open the school. By then, Students had taken the common entrance examination and many had opted to come to the school. In fact, there were about 500 well qualified for admission, but things were moving slowly and preparations were hampered by lack of funds. Professor Trust then wrote to the then Director of Education, who later helped provide funds for the school. Interviews were later held and Professor Trust selected 35 students and two teachers, Moses Beta and Samuel Ofori. Even though the school didn't have the adequate facilities, it still opened on the 31st of January 1950. From then to now, it's filled with more intriguing history. Now, 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, here are some fun facts I bet you never knew about Mawili School. Mawili School was the first senior high school to be established in the Trans Volta Togoland, now Volta region. The school opened on the 31st of January 1950. The school started with 35 students. The current headmaster is Reverend Samuel Senanu Asiemi. Mawili School was the first senior high school to have double bank beds. Wow, interesting. <laughs> the name of the school, Mawili, and the motto, head, hand and hat, were chosen by students. The first headmaster of the school was called Professor Walter Trust. Old students of the school are called OMSU, meaning Old Mawili Students Union. They are the first senior high school to have a basketball court. Mawili School was one of the first senior high schools to have started producing farm produce to feed students. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, this brings us to the end of yet another episode of High School Update right here on High School Live. But I promise, there will be more intriguing videos coming up your way. Now, to stay connected, subscribe to our YouTube channel, High School Live, and follow us on Instagram and TikTok at High School Live. Until then, it's a bye for now. My name is Claxon. And I was your host, High School Live, the Entertainment Center. Yeah.